so like being cool in this regard it's very viewed in dressing you know like someone who's dressing well. being cool depends on someone's character yeah being smart or well dressing it can be somehow a definition of being cool at at first impression when you the story what's the story what's the story hello and welcome welcome back if it's your first time or you're back this is our second episode of what's the story podcast i'm Hilly and today we're going to talk about a very very juicy topic so stay tuned and stay till the end hi cedric hi how are you doing today How are you? I'm also good. I'm so fine. Let me hope today we're going to go on the same side. Last time we were like opposing each other. <laughs> we didn't yeah, understand things. I'm not going to agree with you if you don't agree with me. So it's, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see today. So can okay. I start introducing the topic of today? Of course. Go ahead. Okay. So the topic of today will be what's like how what's being cool as a young adult like how do you think how like someone is cool as a young adult so i think first of all a young adult is someone who is between the ages of like 20 to 25 i just feel like that's a young adult but young adults means very different things to different people that's just my opinion so like being cool in this regard it's very viewed in dressing you know like someone who's dressing well you know who has like a great sense of style a lot of jewelry baggy pants cool sneakers you know i just feel like that's the idea of being cool which by the way i don't agree with at some point <laughs> because yeah. i just feel like being cool is more of a like the character of the person because just imagine if you can you walk into someone and they're dressed up very well, nice perfume, hair is done, and they're like the perfect person, and then you talk to them, and then they're like talking trash, and you just feel like they have that prideness in their in their tone, you know, they just look down on people who are not dressed like them. So I just feel like it's more of the character of the person that makes them be cool because the outward appearance. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Ah, you you mentioned something good. Like being cool depends on someone's character. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Ah, uh, but being smart or well dressing it can be somehow a definition of being cool. At at first impression, when you first see someone, you judge them by the way you see them. Ah, uh, and another thing about. You say that it depends on the characters. So there are some characters people think that they are being cool while they are maybe spoiling their own lives. Like maybe to be <laughs> cool, you have to go out, you have to take drugs. Like you said, that it depends on character. Do you agree with me that some the way you dress or the way you look outside, it can also be a part of being cool? Do you agree me of that? Style is good. Like I also want, I also love looking good. But looking good means I look good for me. I, I'm not trying to impress anyone by looking good. Like if it's like um, a casual event or I'm meeting a person, I want to feel good and confident in my outfit. Not necessarily that I want that person to look at me and be like, oh, she's cool. She's wearing a cool outfit. Because you know, some people will look like you dress up. And then they're like, um, I just feel like your outfit is not good, you know, because they have an opinion on that. But it's like, if I'm wearing this and I feel comfortable, like, it's fine. Like, that's what um, looking good means to me, in my opinion. So, yeah. But uh, on that, I don't agree with you because, like, we also have to pay attention on what, what the way we we are presenting ourselves outside to people so like it may you may be feeling confident with what you're wearing but what you're wearing is exposing you outside in a different way that you you are 
for example, maybe you are wearing a very short miniskirt and someone could see you and judge you the way he sees you or like you wear it when maybe when you have dreadlocks. But for me, I like dreadlocks, but there are some people who can see you having dreadlocks or any any something like your style and they judge you by the way they see you. I think it would be good we try to adapt to our society like if a society wants me to be like this, I'm not totally saying that you limit your freedom, but you also have to consider like, your your society when you're going to choose an outfit. Where am I going? Like, so being cool goes both sides with the way you present yourself and your character. So the reason I, I, I said that I don't agree with you on uh, dressing. So dressing also have like it have to be considered when someone is cool because you cannot be cool maybe can you be a reader who who wears who wear things which are very casual so you have also to consider the dressing but the dressing is not the only thing that can make someone cool so after the dressings that's when we go to the character so i think we also have to consider what we are wearing how am i presenting myself but when people see me, how, how are they going to judge me? Because thinking that, that doesn't mean that you people are not going to judge you. Of course, people cannot, people always find a mistake in everything. So, but exactly. maybe you have done almost what you had, you are supposed to do. Yeah, but you also have to consider the dressing. That's what I'm not agreeing with you. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, you have to be convenient, of course. Like, if you're dressing up for, like, an event and you're, like, the speaker, you're going to be, like, on the panel and the public is going to look at you, of course you need to, like, look good, you know, presentable. I totally agree. Even society um, in- influences your dressing because I know um, I've seen someone um, on YouTube, they were traveling and then they went into a Muslim community and it was summertime they were wearing a short dress and she went to the market and they were like no you cannot come in because you're very underdressed and i was like that's very embarrassing you know but i also i give them grace they didn't know that um in the muslim community you have to dress well by the way um it's like it just feels more convenient to adapt to the society you're in especially and respecting their culture and all But at the same time, um, I I just feel like looks do not make you cool automatically. Just like because you look good on the outside, that does not automatically say, oh, that person is cool. And another thing, saying, um, okay, because if someone is underdressed, I can't respect them for who they are. I just feel like that's also not good. Say, for example, you meet someone, you don't know them at all. And then they are wearing casual, very casual outfits. And then you just talk to them casually, you know, nothing, no dishonor, no nothing. And then later on you realize, oh, that person is very important. You like, I'm so glad they treated them well because I would be so embarrassed. And then at the same time, there's also someone who's going to be like, oh, that person is just like not very cool. Um, they don't have expensive clothes on, so I'm just going to treat them however I want. And then later on, you realize, oh, that person was important and you're screwed because you're like, I just wish I had treated them better. So I just feel like you should not look at a person and define them for what they're wearing, you know. But I also agree that looking good contributes to how people are going to just like it's giving that aura of okay she takes care of herself and i can have like a proper conversation with her you know if that even makes sense yeah yeah uh like to me being cool goes also with the dressing the way you out your outfit the way you're presenting yourself and after representing good yourself here we come we go to the collector so about dressing for me what i can say that as people, we always have to put on things that are going to present us in a good way so that anyone who is going to see us is going to see us as well represented people as cool as uh, as we are. Like, because most of the time, what we show outside is what is inside. Uh, but there is another thing we say that don't judge a book by its cover. So some people don't, doesn't care about their dressing, but they are cool. So I think 
for me i have to dress well and present well myself and i and what i also have to do is i don't have to judge people by the way they are wearing so because some people you find they are maybe intelligent they are very smart but when it comes to dressing they don't care exactly. so yeah like what you said uh people that do, don't do, do, doesn't have to judge people by the way they are dressing or they see them because sometimes it's different and you might find you might end up regretting but another advice i think we, we also have to consider our dressing because all of the people doesn't understand us that they can't judge a book by its cover so we have to yeah. also try to represent ourselves because some people doesn't understand that the outfit might be different from what is inside yeah there's something you said before about like some habits that are perceived as cool and they're not actually cool so if you're a young adult and you're listening to this podcast and you know um some things are not good like taking drugs for example drinking out or you know just like things that you do because you want to fit in that's not being cool because at the end of the day you don't even understand why you're doing these things i just like would recommend someone to be like okay why am i doing these things that i'm doing because at the end of the day you have to know the consequences of the things you're doing and the things you consume and the places and the people you hang around with because if you're hanging around with people just because you think they're cool and then because you hang out with them it automatically makes you cool i just feel like that's not it like you can do better trust me i just feel like being cool does not mean hanging out with the wrong people if you think they're the wrong people so it's like just like think of who's around you and what are they doing what activities am i doing from like day to day because that cannot make you cool uh, on on my side i think being cool when i said that this person is cool there are things that, that i uh, i base on like to say to me for me to say that someone is cool uh that person must be humble when someone is humble like friendly exactly smart and someone who is loyal someone that i can trust when my friend have this character he's very humble friendly like when someone to be cool it's not like to be to take drugs or do have a drink alcohol like someone who is friendly who is humble whenever he goes like he respects the person respects the people he finds there and he 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 makes a friend zone easily so, because there are some people who are not cool. when i say that yeah. people are not cool these are people who are not friendly when someone is friendly humble loyal this person is totally cool on my side my side so to be cool it doesn't mean that you come and we drink and after drinking you're going to disappoint me to be cool like if we come and maybe we have fun having fun is not only taking drugs so alcohol can just come, come and we play game but I like playing PlayStation. Maybe we play we play PlayStation, and we maybe we play cards. And when it comes to where I need you, I, I I get your support. When it comes to sharing stories, we share stories. Someone who is, <laughs> I was going to say someone who is cool. Someone who is friendly and very humble. That's to me someone who is humble. I like about this. Like when I was in yeah. maybe studying uh, adolescence, I used to think that let me try to to be cool like others drink like others uh do coach classes skip classes like others to see show people that i'm trying to be cool like some people have that mindset that being cool is like being a gangster and i think this was influenced by the movies we used to watch when we were young we used to see cool people the gangsters who take drugs who is in prison yeah. and we think that this life of being a gangster having a gang is is the way of being cool and I think this is most influenced by what exactly the, what we read the songs we we watch movies like and i think this will be hard to change because we still see people in movies that in movies show us that people who are cool are these people are always racing with the police up and down with the police taking drugs 
most of the time when you, someone is trying to go to be cool, he based on what he sees in movies. And also, and also you mentioned something really, really good, and it's very important. Like, having fun does not automatically mean drinking alcohol. Like, there's this campaign that's been going on of hashtag tungwe less, which means, like, drink less. Like, you don't have to be higher in alcohol to be having fun. Like you said, you can play cool games, um, drink tea and juice and snacks and enjoy the best time of your life with your people, your loved ones, and you're going to have so much fun playing games than just like being out drinking with the wrong people. Like, what's the point? At the end of the day, you go home and you're still not happy. Even like in that temporary moment, you're going to go back to that like deep hole of feeling unhappy because you're hanging out with the wrong people, doing the wrong things. Like, it's always good to consider what am I doing to have fun? Because that also can really steal your joy. You were mentioning something about character. What were you going to say? I was saying, like, those, the, the character, uh, someone who is cool, myself, is like when someone who can adapt himself or herself easily, who, who is very friendly and humble. Uh, like, you, you said also about having fun. There's this ideology that have been developing, like having fun is something not good uh, because most people in this uh, think about having fun. They think some something that is it's not good because sometimes they, people think that when they are going to be Christians, they are going to stop having fun. There are many things that people can do to have fun which are good. <laughs> like, I think some people when they th they think about maybe confessing to Jesus, they said, ah, now I'm going to stop having fun. So like there are a lot of things like uh, in Freedom Church, we do a lot of things that make us have fun, but keep us closer to God. And I think people can also use this in normal life and do a lot of things that can make them have fun without going to outside to drink or to to dance uh, in late nights like we have to create there are a lot of games that people can do and have fun yeah i love that you mentioned about freedom church by the way guys me and cedric go to the same church freedom church if you're in kigali or Masanze, please check us out but the thing is like having fun we have like a lot of things we do as a church to build that community of people who you can feel happy with and you feel happy around which by the way is very important because when you're struggling you know these people can listen to you and love you and not judge you but what's the point on hanging out with people who you know you're going to feel uncomfortable sharing with so that's that's like something good to base on like the people you hang around with play a big part on how you feel on the inside and in another thing i also agree with the characters that cedric mentioned like the the, the heart of the person can make them cool or uncool and then something very important we forgot to talk about is something of like the instagram the instagram filtered life that we see and think that is cool and you try to be like that person and it's not cool like what is wrong with people these days like i heard some people go in like very fancy hotels buy like one bottle of water on like i don't know how much money like one i don't know 10k and then it's like just to take pictures in there like what are you doing like literally what are you doing Uh, the, the social media is influencing people a lot. People want to live the life they see on social media and think that life is the perfect one. Like some people, like when I was in in high school, uh, I used to like to go out and take some pictures because I, I I liked Instagram at that time. So we could go out and maybe buy one leg of chicken, and uh, we we take we take everyone come and take a photo on that on that chicken, and we, everyone post it. Someone who sees that, he might think, ah, these people are living good life. I also need to live this life or oh, to be like Cedric, to be like this one, this one. So we are influenced by what is on social media and what we see on social media doesn't mean that it's always true. I think uh, this topic is very interesting. Let's try to, to rush because 
we maybe we we have another part next time uh i think people could be cool just be who you are try to be friendly to everyone be humble be someone who always who is always curious to run more things to connect with new friends and exactly. after that I, i think maybe we are going they are going to write some some things in the comments maybe next time we come with more ideas about this thing because this topic is very interesting we need to make another part of it so you can just make a small conclusion on what you think about being cool and maybe next part we we'll come with ideas from our lovers exactly thank you so much guys if you stayed up until to this point you're an angel stay tuned we're going to release another episode part two because we just feel like this topic is big enough and i mean not we didn't like talk deeper into everything so please stay tuned for part two and probably part three who knows We're going to see you once again. Let us know in the comments what you think being cool is. Stay true to yourself. Be yourself. What's the story? What's the story? What's the story? What's the story? What's the story?